This is a dead IMAX B6 clone. It's not the original thing. It's uh, Well, to the best of my knowledge, it's not the original thing. I've, I've not actually compared them. But um, this one was sent to me by a chap called Ivan, and he'd been using it and had a little mishap with the, with the crocodile clips uh, on the output. And he said smoke came out and it just ceased to function. It just says, you know, output shorted. <clears throat> and... Um, Taking a look at it, the first thing that really came obvious in this sort of high current path to the output is this resistor here. Quite a low value resistor, I think. I had to actually, the markings on the resistor are just complete toast. You can see black, green, and then they're kind of burnt, the other colours. I'm not sure if that's brown or whatever, but um, the I looked up, I, I think that may actually, that brown colour might be the ceramic former underneath. I'm not actually sure. I looked up uh, for pictures of the insides of other people's clones and uh, certainly one of them, it, the colours on it look like black, green, silver, gold. So not sure about that, but I think it is probably 0.5 ohm. Not sure. <clears throat> However, uh, it's wire wound and you can actually see the root of the wire takes around it because it's it's toast, it's burnt. It's actually blown like a fuse. And uh, if you look at the actual circuit board in greater detail, then the negative here that comes in from the supply uh, goes on to a common ground plane that then connects to the whole chassis of the unit. And that also goes to this end of this resistor. Um, so the negative then feeds to this negative terminal, but is switched through this standard 8-pin MOSFET package where three pins in the input are uh, used, and there's one, one pin. Well, there's three in, four out, but uh, one pin is used to control it. <clears throat> and all I can really think here that would have happened for a lead to touch the case and for high current to flow through that resistor is possibly um, the unit was plugged into a battery pack and the positive lead was taken out of this and touched the case, and then effectively it was the battery pack fed current from the negative uh, the positive would be actually flowing through the case to the, the chassis here and then flowing through this resistor to the negative. So uh, the other thing I thought, maybe the MOSFET's been damaged, but usually those MOSFETs quite often go dead short. I mean, not always. So uh, the temptation is to get a resistor if I can find the correct value and replace that and just see if it kicks into action. Um, Ivan got in touch with the seller and he complained about the fact that they, when he opened it up he realised this is a clone, it's not, he, he was told it was the real thing. And the seller gave him a partial refund, so I think he's gone and bought a proper replacement. Uh, I hope he managed to find a proper replacement. But um, yeah, that's a, uh, you know, I was looking at my electronic supplier for 0.5 ohm resistors, but I get the feeling that it's going to be, I think, the wire wound aspect to this. I don't think it's just a sense resistor, although that probably is the case as well. I think uh, it's also kind of designed to fail in a sort of controlled manner, so I'll have to see what I can actually find. Um, but yeah, interesting thing, so I, I'll maybe have a crack at getting this working at some point and uh, see if I can get it back up and running, really. <laughs>